Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi. Um, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to see how to do this really cool St. Patty's Day's look, just um, keep on watching. Okay, so today we are going to be mainly using MAC shadows. I've got my MAC um, Warm and Neutral palette. I do have an Essence Eyeliner, which I've been loving. I have some um, of these loose pigments, some of these. I've just got a whole bunch of different MAC shadows here. The reason I chose MAC for this look is they tend to be a little bit more pigmented. And for a green-eyed look, you do need something a little bit more pigmented, like the Trolls Collection um, MAC Glitter in the color Chartreuse. Is that how you say that? I don't know, but we're going to see. Um, basically, we're going to be using a lot of these. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, if I pull any other shadows out of different brands, I'll let you know. Um, just know that you can duplicate this look anytime you want, any way you want. You do not have to use MAC shadows at all. It's just something I prefer to do because they have pigment. But, um, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and take the Urban Decay um, primer potion and this is the yeah the primer potion this is just the original and I'm gonna put it all over my eyelids I did lay a concealer down with my um, eyebrows because I needed to shape them but you always want to use a primer when you are using and doing like a more vibrant look like this so I just like to take it in between my fingers warm it up you don't want to rub it into your finger skin because that will be good and then a lot of people like wipe it on their eyes like this i find that it makes the primer stick into the wrinkles so i don't like to do that so i like to pat mine into the skin this look is going to get a little bit crazy it is an everyday kind of St. Patty's Day look which um, I feel like that's appropriate to be a little bit crazy because you know leprechauns are always crazy and um, yeah so it's not gonna get too crazy though we are gonna go in with the Mac loose pigment in the shade naked this is one of my favorite base coat colors um, I got this out of the collection that they came out from a holiday i forgot what holiday it was i think it was 2015 but you can see i use it all the time and it's barely gone so i just tap a little bit in the lid that's probably way too much actually honestly um you don't need a lot when you're using it as a base shade and i'm going to apply it all over my lids so i zoomed in on my eyes so y'all could really see what i'm doing i'm just taking this wet and wild brush in this stuff since it's a loose pigment it's going to have a lot of fallout and you see it sticks right to the places where the primer is and i'm just gonna put this all the way up to my brow bone <laughs> forgot to mention that I'm not wearing um, foundation because I might experience some fallout under my eyes and I don't want to ruin my foundation so I thought I would just mention that this is not usually how my face looks but yeah so now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and this is the shade saddle from Mac and I'm just going to put that in my crease Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words. Let me tell you how much of a struggle it's becoming incorporating all of these shadows here into a look. I didn't put much thought into this because I was like, yeah, I did this last week. I included purples and greens and pinks, but this is a St. Patty's Day look, so I can't include those and kind of make it blend the way I should make it blend. But we are going to be using a little bit of a dark green after thinking about it. I figured that this would probably be the best way to go. Its shade name is Humid. So, Alright, so we're going to put this in our crease and on our outer corner. And then we'll be kind of done. <laughs> wrong today, eh? Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? 
this is a disaster but we are gonna go in with this color called phantoms deep by mac and this was also part of their nutcracker collection um like i said i think this was 2016 the nutcracker one was we're just gonna take a let's not use that brush we're gonna take a mac 239 brush and it, it does have some stained red on it and this is a metallic shade um so we have to be very careful with how we use it and where but we are going to deepen up that outer crease just a bit so i went ahead and i put some la concealer on my um pan we are going to go ahead and carve out the half crease so it's going to be from here to about here um and then apply the green on it i wonder what went wrong today eh? Why do I feel like I linger? Linger between the words to say, eh? So I have learned one thing about this concealer. As soon as you lay down the concealer, you have to apply the shadow that you're putting on. So we are going to take some of this green shadow. I'm trying not to open my eyes too much. Um, and go ahead and apply it. And we're just going to pat it on to the concealer just like this. Whew. Okay, so you're, you, if you follow this tutorial, you're definitely not getting pinched. And you see how this is smooth? I don't know if y'all have noticed in some of my other tutorials on my other channel, um, you can see where the shadow that I put on, a more vibrant color, just looks wrinkly. It's because I would wipe my... Um, found my primer my eye primer onto my lid instead of patting it on and it would get stuck in the creases and little lines on my eyelid all right so i'm gonna go ahead and finish the other eye um and i will be right back okay so this is the almost finished eye look you can see i put like a little like little swoop over with the green and that's just going to make it a little bit easier to blend out the color too but it's okay i'm gonna take my mac 239 brush and dip into that pigment mixture it doesn't really look like it's mixed at all but i promise you um it practically is you see and we're just going to go right over that line and when that line is completely covered i have done this correctly all right so i wiped away the fallout from under my eyes and kind of fixed it just a bit so it looks a little bit more even i am going to dip back into this green shadow and just kind of add a little bit of green right on the line right here so it kind of looks like it's fading into a darker color so it's not as harsh and it looks more like this I'm also going to use my 239 in the same color to go in under my eyes but this time we are going to take a little bit of this green pigment up here and put it on this part of the eye in this little circle so I'm just placing down this dark green pigment as like a placer and then I will blend in a minute all right so now i'm gonna go ahead and pop on some foundation bronzer blush powders eyeliner and lashes and i'll be right back all right so this is the finished look with um the eyeliner and mascara and everything else on my face oh <laughs> okay um we are going to go ahead and do the gold now i'm not sure what i'm gonna do or, or if i'm even gonna actually do it um, and our little highlighter. I always do that last just because it's not as messy and if I cover it with foundation by accident It's going to look horrible. So our inner corner highlight is a little bit on the purple side This is called pink opal by Mac. It is a loose pigment shadow I or yeah a loose pigment whatever you want to call it, but I am super excited to use it We're just going to use a little brush and pop it in on the inner corner oh okay that is very bright 
It's a lot brighter than I remember for sure. I'm like using my my viewfinder to do this. I should be using my mirror. Why not? So I really wanted a white highlight for this look. Um, a really bright like inner corner highlight. Um, just to kind of make the look come together a bit more. So I feel like this really completes the look. I'm just going to put one crystal on our inner corner. Just like that. We are done. Um, if you like this look, go ahead and comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, make, sure, make sure to tune back next week for more. Bye. Hey guys, so I forgot to tell you I am doing a giveaway this um, video. So if you want to win these three items plus one mystery item, just click subscribe, hit the bell notification button, and comment when you're done. That's all you have to do. Bye.